guys, Tennessee Frank here. As you can see from those opening scenes, uh, finally got out and did some shooting with the 442. And uh, yeah, it's it's not a bad little gun. It actually it uh, was very reliable. Uh, got the 13 pound rebound spring in it. I did put the 8 pound hammer spring in this gun, um, so it has a little bit lighter hammer spring. Um, but the trigger pull on it now is, is fairly light, very smooth, and uh, before I carried it, I wanted to test it, make sure it was going to be reliable with that lighter hammer spring. Um, I think factory, if memory serves, is 8.5 pounds, so it's, it's a half pound lighter, but it does make a difference in the trigger pull. Um, so, you know, it's a good upgrade, but like I said, if you do that, modification take it out shoot it before you carry it make sure it's going to work um, ammo that we were using was these little 158 grain semi wad cuts um, this is a uh, grizzly and it's uh, their target load uh, so it's going to be fairly mild uh, still had a little bit of recoil I mean it's not anything punishing but with these grips uh, you get a little better grip better control but you still you can feel it you know you're shooting something uh, with a little bit of power it, it's not you know mild by any stretch nothing like uh, nothing like say my 22 mag this 22 mag is phenomenal I mean it's just absolutely awesome no recoil at all to speak of uh, but uh, first first couple of five shot groups we can look at there's the first one, and I hadn't been shooting in quite a while. Did all this at five yards. Uh, you can see I get three printed good, and then there was a couple flyers. You know, second group, three printed fairly good, couple flyers. Um, I, I don't know if that's just uh, the difference in uh, the, the way that the chambers in the cylinder lined up with the barrel. And, of course, you see... Uh, I got the, the front sight painted white, uh, or what. So I went ahead, took a break, went over, shot my Glock 43X. I needed to, to shoot it and dial it in. And then came back and I put another 10 rounds on target, 5 yards. And you can see the groups tightened up quite a bit. Um, shooting is a perishable skill. you got to get out and shoot, people. If you can get out once a month, that's good more is better. Once I did a little bit of shooting even with a different gun I kinda got my eye back and you can see 10 rounds it is printing a little high and to the right um, that could be ammo related uh, it may have something to do with just uh, you know the way I was pulling the trigger that day or something uh, but right now I'm carrying that 125 grain Winchester load if you watch some of my other videos it's a good solid, uh, good solid defensive load. Got my Blackhawk inside the waistband leather holster. And of course, like always, got my speed strip down in a uh, JJ DeSantis pocket magazine carrier. But it works pretty well with speed strips too to keep them oriented in your pocket. Um, but yeah, all in all, not bad. I like it now that I've shot it. I know where it's going to hit. I know that the uh, the springs hadn't really changed anything as far as reliability, so now I'm going to start carrying this gun. It'll it'll be uh, rotated into my my uh, carry options along with the 22, along with the 43X, which I'm going to do a video here pretty soon on it and roll that out and let you uh, you know see how it did. But for uh, just a, a lightweight, you know, these things are about 15 ounce. A lightweight little carry gun. If you've been shooting a while and you can handle a re little revolver like this, because uh, like I said, they're they're not for beginners. A lot of people will rush out get one of these for their wives or girlfriend. You know, cute cute little teeny gun. Like I said, recoil is a little bit stout. It's not punishing. You do know you're shooting something. You do feel it. So you can't be recoil sensitive. Um, Sight radius is not the greatest, so you need to know what you're doing if you're going to get one of these little guns for carry. Uh, I've been shooting for years and years, so for me it's not a big deal, especially revolvers. I love my revolvers. I know how to shoot revolvers fairly well. 
So these make a good carry gun for me. Your mileage may vary depending on what you're used to shooting and, and you know, how much experience you have. But uh, for me, it's a good little gun. I'm going to start carrying this uh, on a regular basis now. Probably leave the 22 mag at home. Uh, till maybe summer. I'll carry it in summertime when people are wearing lighter clothing and stuff. Um, so it won't be such a big deal. But yeah, I, I highly recommend these little Smith & Wessons. They're, they're really good guns. So I uh, hope you found this a, a little bit useful and, and enjoyed the video. Like I always say, either we stand up for our rights or we can sit by and watch them go away. Y'all have an awesome rest of the day. We'll talk to you later. Tennessee Frank out of here.